our communities are facing an identity crisis. Every day, God-designed identities are being hijacked and held hostage by lies. Lies about self-worth, value, and purpose. Tailspinning individuals into destructive patterns and derailing destinies. My passion is helping individuals to learn who they are and know how to reject the lies that are holding their identities hostage. My name is Melissa Clark. I'm a wife, mom, and licensed professional counselor. For years, I believed lie after lie about myself, and these lies became labels that I wore. I'm stupid, I'm less than, not good enough. I would have a smile, and a Christian girl smile at that, but right beneath the surface was an enormous amount of pain, self-hatred, and sadness. Behind closed doors, I would cut to release the pain. I would drink just to numb myself from the emotion. And finally, it all culminated with a plan to end my life. I wanted the pain and misery to end, for the tormenting lies to just be quiet. What I know now is that I was believing lies, and I discovered the truth that labels limit, but our name, who God says that we are, unleashes limitless power. Our name is something that God speaks over us. He's the one that's created us, and He wants us to know so badly who we are. God tells us in Genesis 1:27 that we've been made in His image. So what this means is our worth hinges on Him not on us. There's nothing we can do to make ourselves more or less worthy. Because we've been made in His image and made new in Christ Jesus, we are worthy and we're valuable. Now that I've learned this, now that I've gone through this process myself, I want to tell anyone and everyone who will listen. Whether I'm speaking, blogging, or even parenting, my message and my hope is always the same that I would help individuals connect to their true identity and learn how to reject the lies that's keeping them from living out the destiny and purpose that God has for them. I believe we all can live with vision, passion, and purpose. Connecting through personal stories, biblical application, and experiential exercises ignites the audience and invites them to experience God's love and truth right there in the moment. Within each of us is a God-sized, God-given dream, and I firmly believe as we know who we are, we will then get to do the things that God has created us to do. My pastor says this a lot, that we are a solution to a kingdom problem. So within your community are countless solutions to no doubt an overwhelming amount of problems that you are facing. My goal is that whenever I speak, that the audience would be able to connect with Jesus' voice, that they would learn how to reject the lies and begin to embrace truth so that they can truly begin living free. I'd love the privilege to come and speak to your teens, women's groups, or whatever needs your community may have.